This is the Alma Method B window installation with flash jams on 2x6 wall systems. Tilting the sill 6 degrees to the exterior or adding a back dam may be strategies that you want to incorporate. Find the window opening and use the rough opening as a guide to completely cut out the Tyvek within that window opening. Make 8 inch cuts in the Tyvek at 45 degree angles up and away from each corner of the window opening. Pull the flaps that were created from making the cuts away from the window opening and temporarily hold them in place with a piece of Tyvek tape. Cut a piece of 9 inch flex wrap 12 inches longer than the width of the window opening. And then actually fold the flex wrap on the perforation of the release paper. Remove the widest portion of the release paper and then fold the flex wrap in such a way where you can install it into the window opening. Start in the center, move to one jam and up the jam and then install to the other side of the window opening in the jam. Remove the release paper from the narrow side of the flex wrap, just pulling directly down and away from the flex wrap, and then just push the corners out onto the wall. Be sure to firmly roll the flex wrap into place so that the flex wrap has an opportunity for a good adhesion. Also, you want to make sure the flex wrap is turned out onto the wall at least two inches. Using a nine inch width piece of DuPont flashing tape, the same length as the height of the rough opening, simply fold it and release a little bit of the release paper off the back. Go to the very top of the jam and place the DuPont flashing tape onto the jam and then pull directly down on the release paper in order to smooth it out onto the jam. Remove a small piece of the release paper on the narrow side of the DuPont flashing tape and place it onto the wall and then pull the release paper directly down and away from the top of the window opening as you smooth the flashing tape onto the wall. After the flashing tape is installed, be sure to firmly roll the flashing tape onto the window opening. Flash the other side of the window opening using the 9 inch DuPont flashing tape and using the same technique. Be careful to pull directly down and away from the top of the window when you're removing the release paper. If you pull the release paper out to the side or maybe at a 45 degree angle, the release paper is going to tear. Using this method of application and removing the release paper is by far the best way to reduce any chances of wrinkles and bubbles as you're actually attaching the flashing to the window opening or the wall. For maximum adhesion, make sure all flashing and tapes are firmly rolled down to make contact with the surface. DuPont residential sealant is chemically formulated to bond to Tyvek, 
flashings, and also construction materials. Use the DuPont residential sealant on the head of the window opening and also on the jams. For a high pressure wind skirt, use a piece of Tyvek about 8 to 12 inches in width, but the length a little wider than the width of the window opening. Attach it to the bottom flange of the window. This flap or high pressure wind skirt will allow water to make its way to daylight and it also will impede any airflow that might happen in at the bottom of the window. Take the sides of the high pressure wind skirt to the wall. Using six inch DuPont flashing tape, Apply the flashing tape onto the flange and to the wall, starting at about an inch above the top nailing flange, removing the release paper as you smooth the flashing down onto the wall and onto the nailing flange. Firmly roll the flashing down onto the wall and onto the nailing flange. Apply the window flashing to the other side of the window, again going above the window flange at the top about an inch and below the window about four to six inches. Also remember to remove the release paper on the back of the DuPont flashing tape directly down and away from the flashing, not at an angle or out to the side, otherwise the release paper will tear. Firmly roll the jam flashing. Install the 6 inch DuPont flashing tape over the head of the window, applying it onto the flange and onto the wall. The head flashing should extend beyond the jam flashing by an inch on both sides. Firmly roll the head flashing and the jam flashing. Release the flaps that you had temporarily pulled back out of the way, and with a pair of scissors, trim the edge next to the window. This will allow the tape to be equally adhered to both the Tyvek and the surface of the flashing tape. Before taping the jam of the window, tape the lower flap at the diagonal cut which was previously made first. Adjust the flap into place and using 3 inch DuPont Tyvek tape, tape the flap to the nailing flange. Before taping the jam of the window, tape the lower flap at the diagonal cut which was previously made first. Adjust the flap into place and using 3 inch DuPont Tyvek tape, tape the flap to the nailing flange. Release the top flap and trim about an inch off of the top flap where it comes down onto the window. Again, using the 3 inch DuPont Tyvek tape, tape the top flap down onto the window. Tape the diagonal cuts at the top of the window with 3 inch DuPont Tyvek tape. Roll all tape seams and flashing areas to make sure they get a good adhesion to the wall.